Everyone, listen up. There is big news in the puzzle world. Big, big news. Well, at least for those of us who collect solid colored puzzles, which I think is literally only me. But okay, Ravensburger has launched a new tool where you can create a crypt puzzle in any color that you want. Oh my God innovation in the puzzle world. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, the Crypt series from Ravensburger is their solid colored puzzle series where they have unique cuts just for the Crypt line. In the past, they've only come in black, silver, gold, and a handful of other colors. But now you can get a Crypt puzzle in your favorite color, a color that matches your apartment, a color for your I don't know, sports team. So, okay, I wanna say a huge thank you to Ravensburger for sponsoring this video and giving me a reason to finally revisit the Crypt Puzzles after I first solved one four years ago. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm going a little crazy. I was thinking about it and I think the feet video is still the worst thing I've ever done, but I think this puzzle might be the second worst thing I've ever done. When I made that video, that was the first solid colored puzzle I had ever solved. So now that I've done many, 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 many solid colored puzzles, um, let's try it again and see if my opinion has changed. Because if you remember uh, back then, I did not enjoy the experience at all. I just, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry, I love puzzles. I just don't like this one. <laughs> okay, but first, before I get to any of these, um, I'm actually gonna prepare for these by doing an entirely different puzzle. So roll that clip. You know what's crazy? I literally used all of these puzzle pieces in my own <laughs> puzzle. Like all of the scattered puzzle pieces on here, these are all the rainbow crypt pieces. So I have been staring at these puzzle pieces for like, you know, all year while we've been putting this puzzle together and I've still never solved the Gradient Crypt. But here's the thing, and here's why I'm doing it today. So the Gradient Crypt is the exact same puzzle cut as the Gold Crypt. You can see that the centerpiece is this round one with all the five outs coming out of it. But wait, that's also the puzzle cut of the Custom Crypt. So the silver and the black crypts have each have their own unique cut. So far for these custom crypts, they only have the one piece cut, which is the gold one. So I figured before I dive into the actual solid color crypt, I could get more familiar with the piece cut by doing the gradient crypt because gradient puzzles are super easy. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's uh, jump right into it. You guys know I can't resist doing a little puzzle artwork. So we have this beautiful circle of gradient pieces and I made sure to basically put them in the same location as they will be in the final puzzle. The sorting took 13 minutes so far, uh, really not bad at all. Ooh, what color do I wanna start with? That's the question. Oh no, I'm pretty sure this piece is actually from the background puzzle, like from the 5,000 colors puzzle. I don't think it goes with the crypt puzzle. <laughs>
All right, we are exactly 45 minutes into this puzzle and uh, I'm basically like almost halfway done. Literally with the color differences and also the unique piece cut, like with those stacked on top of each other, I'm just working my way through this so quickly. Like I'm, I'm honestly, I didn't look at this before. You can just see the color differences so clearly and the piece shapes so clearly that this, there we go, that this is a very, very easy puzzle. I'm having a great time right now. Um, I feel like I should just savor this because I feel like once I get to the solid colored version, it is not gonna be nearly as quick. <laughs> Well, that was a fun little puzzle. So my final time was exactly one hour, 25 minutes and 25 seconds. Why do I feel like the solid colored version is uh, not gonna be that fast? So, okay, I feel like while I have it here in front of me, I need to take a really close look at the piece cut so I know what I'm getting into. Honestly, when I was putting this together, I was going almost entirely just on color. I wasn't even really looking at the piece shapes. So, okay, here in the middle, we have this round guy and then we have these kind of thin um, curved pieces. Then we have all of these long, thin pieces which make a rectangle going around that. And we have a couple sort of funky shaped pieces here on the corners of where those all join together. And then coming out to this outer edge, um, we have some fun like edge pieces here. And we have curved pieces, but they're much uh, wider than the ones in the middle. All right, I'm gonna go uh, take a little break. <laughs> but then I guess, I guess it's time. I guess it's finally time that I have to return to the crypt puzzle <laughs> after all these years. One eternity later. All right, so um, solving this gradient crypt puzzle has been by far the easiest part of this entire video. This video has been a process from start to finish. So I filmed this about two months ago and at the same time I also solved the orange crypt puzzle. Unfortunately um, it was a whole thing, I don't want to get into it, but a lot of things went wrong with that portion of the video. So we just decided to delay the whole thing until uh, right now, but I can tell you that when I solved the orange puzzle my final time was eight hours and 40 minutes. A uh, quick note from Editing Karen. So in my mind, thinking back to the Silver Crypt, I remember that puzzle taking like 12 hours over an entire week. Imagine my surprise when I watch it back and I hear, it was about a little over five hours of just solid puzzling. Five hours? Five hours and I was whining that much? Oh, how my standards have changed. But the reason why that only took me five hours is because partway through, I started using the guide, 
Whereas with the orange puzzle, I just went off of the piece shapes, which of course is much harder. But I know that that is not good enough for you guys. You want to see me solve a solid colored crypt puzzle. So yes, I will be taking on the pink puzzle. So I personally don't think that I'll ever be doing this one again. This is going to be my third time solving this puzzle cut. So I'm hoping to beat my eight hour time. Um, I think I have a few more pretty good strategies going into this one. All right, I'm an hour and 16 minutes into it, and this is how much I've done. But uh, don't be fooled, this is by far the easiest part of this puzzle. It's really easy to just pull out all of these super curved shapes, and since there aren't that many of them, um, every time this has gone together really quickly. Now, when I did the orange puzzle, the next thing I worked on is all of these kind of thin pieces that make the box around this center part. And you can see I pulled all of those out, all of these little pieces, and separated them by shape. Over here I have all of the double pieces. However, that section was very difficult uh, the first time I did it, so I think I'm going to change tactics this time. You can see here that I pulled out all of the edge pieces, but that you can't build the full edge because a lot of them don't actually like lock together with each other. So up here, I pulled all of the largest puzzle pieces, which go around um, the edge and the corners of the puzzle. So I think I'm gonna work on these simultaneously to try to get a frame going around to this whole thing. And then I can work my way back in to all of these pieces, which are not very, like unique from each other. So it's just a lot of trial and error. So up here, I have all of the medium sized pieces. I'll probably have to organize these by shape uh, pretty soon. And then down here, I have all of the random shaped pieces. So that's my progress so far. Uh, I think I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Oh my gosh, when I work on a puzzle like this, I like go into a trance <laughs> and I feel like I could just work on this all day, forever. This is so different from my experience the first time I tried a crypt puzzle. I've been meaning to do an update for like an hour now and I keep being like, okay, but one more piece. Okay, just one more piece. Okay, I'll turn the camera off after one more piece. <laughs> So here's a look at where we are. You can see I've gotten um, a lot of these larger pieces on the edges and the corners uh, put together. 
Now, a little secret is that I do have the rainbow or the gradient puzzle right down there. So I can just glance back and forth if I get stuck. But honestly, I really haven't had to do that yet. So far, I've been doing this entirely just off of shape. I really haven't cheated at all. Maybe just like one piece in that center part where I was checking how far out the spiral went. But otherwise, I'm doing this entirely on my own. I am realizing though, like you can see here, I have this full short edge of the puzzle. Um, I am gonna have to start rearranging some of these pieces so I can get everything actually lined up or, you know, just not overlapping so I can get the outline in place around the puzzle. I am three hours and 20 minutes in, which I think, um, I think that's pretty good. I do kind of wish I was doing this puzzle out in the living room just because I ordered this pink puzzle because everything in my apartment is this shade of like light millennial pink and it would look so beautiful out in the living room with all my decorations out there. But as you can see, I really did have to um, spread out over the entire table. But I have all afternoon to keep working on this. I really think I can get most of it done today. It's really not, it's not that hard. <laughs> I know you all wanted me to come on here and be like, what am I doing? This is the worst. It's really not that hard. <laughs> Although this is my third time doing this cut, so that definitely plays a part. Oh man, okay, so I wanna to be totally honest. I did have a pretty bad false fit right here. Like, that looks pretty good, right? Uh, I I've been looking forever for this piece. I could not find it. Eventually, I uh, glanced over to my little cheat sheet down there and I realized that this corner actually um, goes down in this corner, which means this whole section has to move off of there and then that one will go there and it's a totally different shaped piece that I'm looking for. So uh, there aren't a, a ton of false fits as long as you sort of work your way out from two sides, but uh, it can happen, so uh, be careful. <laughs> Okay, so I started working on this at 10 in the morning. It is now 5.30 and <laughs> I'm just like, what am I doing? Why did I try to challenge myself to do this all in one day? I never said that in the video, but in my mind I was like, I wonder if I can do this all in one day. <laughs> I didn't even stop for lunch. Like I'm so hungry, but I'm like, no. I have to finish this puzzle, I'm so close now. So I'm up to uh, six and a half hours. Um, what was my time for the orange one, eight and a half? 
I don't think it's gonna take me two hours to finish all of this. Although, um, you can see that I have finished pretty much all of the large pieces. So even though the pieces that are left don't take up that much surface area on the table, they're all a lot smaller. So actually there are still quite a few pieces left. And I remember from the last time I did it, all of these um, like thin pieces going around this center part, that was the hardest part of the whole thing. Also, it is now dark outside. I have fully spent this entire sunny day um, here in this little studio staring at this pink puzzle. A lot of you guys ask what I listen to, so I've gotten caught up on Celebrity Memoir Book Club because I've never even heard of half of the celebrities whose memoirs they read, but I'm like, when I'm, when I'm sitting here for hours working on a solid colored puzzle, literally all I want to hear is the Desperate Housewives drama that I can just sort of passively take in and not have to think about too much. <laughs> and then I've also been catching up on Lateral by Tom Scott. And a uh, fun fact, if you keep an eye on that podcast feed, you might hear a familiar voice pretty soon. Um, I should check with Tom if I'm allowed to tell you guys <laughs> that I'm gonna be on that <laughs> before it's out. I don't know when my episode is coming out. Anyway, what am I talking about? I'm like supposed to still be telling you guys what I'm doing, but I'm already back to the puzzle because I just can't stop. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I found it, I found it. No, I didn't find it. I thought that's the piece I was looking for. Where is it? Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Hang on, I'm not gonna turn off the camera until I find it. Is this it? That's it. All right, I did it. <laughs> All right, back to, back to the puzzle and my podcasts. actually solved a crypt puzzle all in one day. I mean, I haven't I haven't solved it yet. I still have a handful of pieces left, but there are few enough pieces that I definitely am going to solve it today. And that's good because I am uh, getting hungry. It is 7.28 uh, and I have not eaten since about 9 o'clock this morning. <laughs> But okay, let's, this is the most fun part of the whole puzzle. Let's get this finished up. <laughs> Final three pieces. Nope. Nope. Still wrong. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. The very last option. And... All right. I'm done. My final time was eight hours and 17 minutes. So uh, not very different from when I did the orange puzzle. <laughs> so I guess what we have learned today is that the crypt puzzles 
are about eight and a half hours of puzzling time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that all in one day. I'm like really proud of myself. Oh man, yesterday was a lot. I still can't believe I did this entire puzzle in one sitting. I was so tired by the end of the day. I slept so well last night. So, okay, here are a few tips if you want to take on one of these solid colored crypt puzzles. First, and this is key, make sure you have enough space to spread out all of the pieces. The first time I did it, I don't know if I had something else over on the other side of the table, but I had everything all like bunched up in a really small space. And it was just impossible to do that way. Like you need to be able to see all of the pieces all at once. I would also recommend looking closely at the puzzle cut ahead of time and making a game plan for how you want to sort out the pieces. You don't necessarily have to keep referring to the pattern as you're working on it because that might make it a little too easy. But with the silver one, I really didn't look at the finished pattern at all going into it. So I had no idea where anything was gonna go and I was just getting so frustrated right from the very beginning. Now, okay, I do wanna say that since these puzzles use their custom photo tool, there is a tiny bit of quality trade-off. So the regular Crypt puzzles have a fully designed box, including the full cut printed on the back of the box. Plus they come with an envelope, which contains the solution. And these custom crypt puzzles uh, don't have any of that. You can see this is what the box looks like. So you don't get that back of the box with the full cut. And then you don't get that envelope. It is just the pieces inside the box. So I will put the solution on screen right now. Um, feel free to screenshot that and print it out and then you know, you're basically all set. And then I also just wanted to mention that the original Crypt pieces have a little bit more of a satin finish, while these custom pieces are much more matte and they just feel a little bit different in your hands. I also noticed a few tiny little scratches on the custom Crypts. Um, it is much more noticeable on the darker colors, so if you're getting a darker puzzle, just be a little careful with how much you handle it. But in the grand scheme of things, those are very minor nitpicks. Overall, um, I think this is a great product, especially for those of us who collect solid colored puzzles, which again, I'm pretty sure is literally just me. <laughs> Thanks Ravensburger for making the perfect product for literally just me. <laughs> but okay, moving on from all of my little nitpicks, the best part about this puzzle is that you can mix and match pieces between the different colors. So check this out. Oh, this is gonna be so satisfying. I just know it. <laughs> and how beautiful that is. Uh, it does bug me that the circles don't quite line up and I ended up with a few uh, double rows. I guess maybe if I had planned this before I started shooting the time lapse, I could have uh, figured that out a little better. But you know what? It's fine. You guys get the idea. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, now I have to fix it. This is gonna bug me. This is gonna bug me way too much. <laughs> There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Look at how beautiful that is. 
I mean, it's still not great because of these um, double pieces down here, but you know what? I'm just gonna say good enough. I just spent like an hour filming this time-lapse, swapping these pieces around. <laughs> you guys know I never hang puzzles on my wall, but honestly, I'm kind of tempted with these. <laughs> All right, so before I go, I just wanna do a quick walkthrough of how to order one of these. So I'm gonna have the link right down below. You just click on that, and then once you're on the product page, click Add to Cart. That'll redirect you to this tool where you can choose your color, and you can choose any color that you like. Once you're happy with your color choice, just click the check mark. And then you can choose if you want a cardboard or a metal box. Uh, the price is just slightly different between the two. After that, you can add a custom title to the box, which is perfect if you're giving this as a gift. And then you just click add to basket and you check out as normal. All right, so I am so happy that these puzzles exist and that now I have even more crypt puzzles to add to the collection. Although I guess now I have to resign myself to the fact that now I'll never be able to collect all of them because if you got every single possible color, that would literally be like hundreds of thousands of puzzles. <laughs> How much would that cost? Can you imagine calling up Ravensburger and being like, I would like to order one of every single hex code. <laughs> anyway, if you want a sort of bonus entry into the Crypt collection, the Karen Puzzles puzzle is available again on Amazon. You can go get one right now. I know a few people already have been getting the Gradient Crypt puzzle and then solving this puzzle and then putting the puzzle pieces on top of the puzzle. And the puzzle is of these puzzle pieces. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> so if you're gonna go get one of these, they gave me a promo code. It is CRYPT20 for 20% off. And that is actually valid for both the Crypt puzzles and also their custom photo puzzles, which I featured in a video at the end of last year. So what do you think? Let me know in a comment. Are you gonna get one? And what color do you think you would get? Your code word for the comments will be pink. Oh man, I should have done this right when the Barbie movie was coming out. Oh, that would have been perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a Barbie puzzle when the Barbie movie's coming out. I'm so excited for that. That has nothing to do with anything anyway. All right, that's it for today. This video was a mess. <laughs> I will see you all in the next one.